Well, there's been some good and bad news off the back of a rough start off the back of the winter break in yesterday's episode. Thankfully, got back on track somewhat with a win over Heidenheim, but unfortunately, Osman Tilgen picked up another injury. So we've signed a new left winger. Hello everyone and welcome to episode 47 of the Leipzig Loco with Locomotive Leipzig here on Sean Does FM. I hope you are doing well and come up today. We take on Dynamo Dresden and Hamburg, two teams right in the promotion hunt either side of January transfer deadline day, which to be fair, we probably won't do much action on because we've already signed a new left winger because Osmond Tilgen, as I said during the intro, has picked up another injury. So if you're looking forward to all that coming up, in today's episode, then do remember to go down below, leave a thumbs up on the video, and if you haven't done so already and are enjoying the series here on the channel, also consider hitting that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on as well. It is greatly appreciated, but in yesterday's episode, the first one of the week, we did get underway off the back of the winter break, a massive one-week holiday for our players, and unfortunately, were knocked out of the DFB Pockle by Schalke, and also hammered at home by Hanover in the league. If you missed the episode, I'll leave a link to it over in the top right corner. Thankfully, since then, we did take on bottom of the table Heidenheim and did pick up a 2-1 win, albeit this one. Very, very scratchy. Actually quite fortunate to pick up a win in this game, as you can tell from the stats, but thankfully, we were 2-0 up before they did grab a goal back with five minutes left. They probably deserve something out of that game, but thankfully, we're a bit more clinical with our chances, even though they have more of them, and we did pick up a 2-1 win there, so it does mean in terms of the table, we are still below Hanover because of our goal differential, and hopefully might get a chance today to get back inside that top three, albeit playing teams who are on either side of us, Dynamo Dresden, a little way off us, but if they win that game, they will close the gap and might get into a promotion hunt alongside the top four currently, and then we'll take on current top of the table team and Hamburger team, who earlier in the season, we picked up a one all draw against, albeit that was when they were down to 10 men, so that one could be tricky as well. So two potentially big games coming up in today's episode, and they will be happening off the back of a new signing and some injuries, because we have picked up a couple in and around that most recent game that we did play against Heidenheim right off the back of yesterday's episode. Osmond Tilgen did return to training, but unfortunately, before we could even get to that Heidenheim game, he has some pulled knee ligaments. He is out for a further 5 to 10 days, so to be fair, isn't out for that long, but that meant that our options at left wing were just Anton Bulland and Dieter Geimer, and that was not filling me with a lot of confidence in that position, so because of that, we did sign a new left winger, albeit didn't come into the club in time for that high and high end game, so we will be making his debut in today's episode. We had a choice, actually, between a player that we did have on our books in the FMOE save at Cardiff and John Kamani Gordon, but his attributes for the inverted winger role that we do use, not as good as this guy. This is Benicio Baker Boati. He is Ghanaian. Two and a half star current ability, four and a half star potential. Certainly has the potential to be a good Bundesliga player, is a little bit injury prone, doesn't like big matches. Those are a bit of a concern, but formerly has been at clubs like West Ham, Porto, and Brighton. So hopefully, in the second tier of German football, he can do a job for us when Osman Tilgen is out, certainly a significant upgrade on someone like Anton Bull, and it means that he will still stay on the bench for these next couple of games while Atilgen is out with that injury. So that's our new signing on a free transfer. Could have bought someone in even better on loan, but unfortunately didn't quite have the wages to make that work. So a free transfer, but Nisia Baker Boati comes in as our new second choice left winger, as I said, bit of an upgrade. On Anton Bullen gives us a bit of confidence if we are missing Osman Atilgen in that left wing role for the rest of the season. And also Lucas Search off the back of that Heidenheim game unfortunately has picked up a virus. That means he'll be missing for both games in today's episode out for 8 to 10 days. So it does mean that Lucas Locke will come in and fill his spot as the central defender at the back. So a few injury concerns going in to today's episode. And as I said earlier, they are quite big games as well. Either side of deadline day, albeit as I said not too sure if we'll do much on deadline day. If we do, we'll come back in the middle of these games that we are going to play in today's episode. But first up, we take on Dynamo Dresden. Early in the season, we bet these guys 3-0 away from home. 
that was a really funny game. In terms of stats, they were certainly the better team, albeit we did grab an early 2-0 lead, which certainly helped. But this one could be interesting. A team that we predicted to only finish slightly above us on the table at the moment. They are just behind us. This could be an even matchup, but hopefully at home we can back up that win over Heidenheim and get back on a bit of a winning run before we take on the team who are on top of the table in Hamburg. These guys, as I said, we picked up a one-all draw against earlier in the season in a game off camera. That was at home and they were down to 10 men for a significant portion of that game. Actually took a late goal for us to grab a draw in that one. So this one is no doubt going to be quite a tricky one as well. So two potentially banana skin games for us coming up in today's episode. But hopefully off the back of that Heidenheim win, we can start to get back on track and we'll come back shortly and hopefully make it two wins in a row as we host Dynamo Dresden. And here are the team sheets for this first game of today's episode, 4th versus 5th on the table. As mentioned before, Baker Blighty makes his debut at left wing, also Locke comes in for search at centre back. But apart from that, our starting lineup is at full strength in the other positions. Dynamo Dresden also going with a 4-2-3-1, but hopefully we can do something similar to what we did nice and early in the season and keep pace with those teams inside the top three. And there's a very early highlight in this one, a free kick here in favour of Dynamo Dresden. Today they are in the white, we are at home of course in our yellow with the blue shorts. But hopefully we can get off to a good start in this game and try and get them on the back foot like they were in that first game we played against them this season. Bit of a funny one though off the back of making it 2-0 nice and early. They were on the front foot for most of that game but thankfully somehow did not break through. Unfortunately had a chance there for us to win possession back but couldn't quite keep it. And Dresden now are back on the attack. Van Dampier, nice ball there for Kass drop, but thankfully he was offside. Also, Kruppa Kass makes a good save, so it is still nil all. And just shot the 10 minute mark, it's another highlight here, potentially in favor of Dynamo Dresden, thrown here inside the final third. Kass drop tries to curve that one top right corner, thankfully just goes wide, but early stages were on the back foot, but still nil all. And just past the 15 minute mark, we might eventually get a highlight now in our favour of thrown on the halfway line. Krasnicki starts to make his way inside the opposition half just a little bit more now. Cueto, nice ball over the top here for Thibaut Cliche, wonderfully controlled and chips that one over the goalkeeper. Bottom right corner, what a star signing. He has proven to be on a free transfer and that makes it 1-0 his 15th goal of the season. And hopefully... From here, we can start to pull the misery on just a little bit. That's a really nice finish that from our striker out of Togo to make it 1-0 Lokomotiv Leipzig. And just past the half hour, mate, we get the next highlight in this game. Gale plays that one back to Krupa Kassen goal, and hopefully we can build from the back here and try and make it 2-0. Unfortunately, Krupa Kass, for some reason, boots that one deep in Aster on this right-hand side in a ton of space here. For the opposition, it's a good hit there from Ake, and it beats Krapakas. Just going to wait there for a VAR. Cheeky might have been offside, albeit not so sure if that is the case. It did look fairly legit, that one, and indeed the goal has been awarded. And unfortunately, somehow they found a lot of space down this right-hand side here through Asta. No one picks him up until way too late. It is a very good ball, and Ake way too strong on the air there for our defenders, and they equalize just past the half-hour mark. And very short the back of that equaliser and also Racine Bullock picking up a yellow card, which probably means Leon Heinke will come on for him at half time. We did get a chance there to play out from the back, but a poor pass there from Coachella. Cade makes his way inside the inner box. Krapakas goes for that save far too early. Harbour bridges it. And just like that, our 1-0 lead at home turns into a 2-1 deficit. And this is not going to plan at all. Not too sure what's happened. On that winter break, in fact, it was Krasnicki with the pass. Apologies to Coachella, but it's a poor pass. And from the arcade, just has far too easy a time there in Krapakas. Not the greatest effort from a very tight angle. Probably should have just stayed tall. And just like that, we're 2-1 behind. And that was it for the first half in this 4th versus 5th clash. And as you saw, Dynamo Dresden double there around the half hour mark did mean that they do go into the sheds with a 2-1 lead off the back of that earlier goal. Two to blow cliche and also a few of our players out there are struggling. We're going to take off Lucas Locke on a 6.4 and coming on for him will be Stankovic. Also Heinke for Bullock on a yellow card and our new signing has a bit of an injury on the left wing. So because of that Anton Bulland will come on for him but that was a pretty poor finish to that first half. Hopefully we can sort it out in the second half and at least get something out of this game. We'll get things back underway. 2-1 behind. 
And just shy of the hour mark, we eventually get the first highlight in the second half. It is a throw-in here in our favour. Hopefully a chance for us here to grab an equaliser, but poor pass there at the back. And now Dynamo Dresden with a big chance here to try and make it 3-1. Cade makes his way inside the box. I thought it was Cade. It's a bit of a deflected effort there. It's a good cross. And Camille van den Pille is able to put that one away. And we're in all sorts of trouble now. 3-1 behind at the hour mark. We have just capitulated here at home. But unfortunate here, Cade was on the ball, plays that one over to Cool Case. He's got those two mixed up. It's deflected. It falls to Reichenberger and Van Dampeda. Not picked up there by our right back in Huxa. And that means a simple finish into that bottom left corner. We are now 3 1 behind Krasnicki. Has picked up a yellow card, so we'll take him off for a Wusu and also Coachella down to a red hard. Marati will come on for him with our last substitutions. Also, we'll chuck our wingers on attack and put our midfielders on support as well to try and make sure we have a chance to get a draw out of this game, but it's going to be tough. 3 1 behind with a half hour left. And just about to make our way inside the last 15 minutes of this game, we have just gone on to an attacking mentality to hopefully find a way to try and get back into this game or at least grab one more goal back to make it interesting. And right off the back of that, there is a highlight of Wusu to Heinke. A few of our bench players here are linking up. Stankovic now on the ball plays that back to Gal. So at the moment, just inside our own half, but eventually Heinke is on the ball. Plays that one forward to Awusu. Back there to Haksa. Now out to Awusu. Get again. Nice ball there for Heinke. Can he sweat this for someone? Inside the box, it falls for Cliche. Good chance there, but unfortunately, tight angle. The goalkeeper comes up with a save. You would have expected Krapakas to make for that second goal that Dynamo Dresden scored in the first half. Thankfully, a chance for us here from a set piece, but unfortunately, Awusu can't find anyone. It's a bit of aerial ping pong there. Inside the box, but eventually Cueto with a header, which is claimed by their goalkeeper. And we are still 3-1 behind. And we've just made our way into the last five minutes of this game, trying to go really for this one now. But it doesn't look like we're going to get anything out of this game in the three minutes of added time. Overall, in terms of stats, up until I just started talking about it, it was actually quite an even game. But unfortunately, that double right around the half hour mark has really proven costly there. A few poor passes did allow them to get on the front foot off the back. Of that goal at the core of an hour mark through Cliche, they also grabbed one in the second half. And we do suffer a 3-1 defeat at home. So a pretty significant turnaround there from the first time we played these guys nice and early in the season. A 3-0 win away from home. That does mean now we might lose ground in that race for the top three. And that also means two losses out of our three games in the league since we have come back from that winter break. Even though it was only a week long. Something must have happened in that week. Not too sure what. But now, might have a bit of ground to make up on those teams inside the top three. And also, need to keep an eye out on Dynamo Dresden as they close the gap on us. We are in fourth. And it's not going to get any easier. As next up, we travel to take on the table-topping Hamburg. And here are the team sheets for the second game of today's episode. We travel to take on Hamburg. They are going with a 4-4-2 at home. Obviously, this means... Nothing of note did happen on transfer deadline day. In terms of our squad, though, Lucas searches back at centre-back alongside Gal and also a Tilgan, not quite on a full green heart, but can make his way back onto the bench to a bit closer to a full strength 11 for what could be a tricky match here as we take on the table toppers away from home. And it's another game here with a very early highlight. Hamburg in the white with the red shorts and we're in our same uniform as the first game. They are on the ball here nice and early, but great work there from Thibaut Cliche to get us on the front foot in this first highlight. Krasnicki just on the edge of the box squares. That one comes off the post, but Cliche's there to tidy things up. Picks out Coachella, his first goal of the season. The goalkeeper tried to make the save there on Rizzo, but comes off the underside of the crossbar. His first ever goal for the club, which has taken a fair while there. He's been at the club since last season. Bit fortunate how that ball did fall to Cliche, but thankfully Coachella in just enough space puts that one in the back of the net with a little bit of good luck there from that save from Rizzo. And we take an early 1-0 lead. And very shortly off the back of taking that 1-0 lead, now we are down the other end here for a corner to Hamburg. Thankfully they try and go far post in Krapakas, being a big tall lad is able to get on the end of that one. Unfortunately, Cliche gets nowhere near that Zabanyi at centre-back for Hamburg. He's a defender, quite a good one in this year's game. They spent about 20 million on him, which kind of shows the difference financially between these two clubs. They try and put that one into the mixer. It's here away in Cueto. Now finds himself 
and a ton of space. Tries to pick out Cliche, probably not the greatest effort there or idea, but thankfully finds Krasnicki yet again, though. Trying to find Cliche potentially a little bit too soon. And just like that, Glatzel now gets in behind for Hamburg. Big chance, but thankfully puts that one just wide of the post. And we hold on to our 1 0 lead. And on the 20 minute mark, it is Hamburg here on the attack. Yet again, we clear our lines, but off the back of grabbing that early goal, much like that previous game, we have just gone into our shells here a little bit, albeit we were on the attack in that previous highlight. Just seemed like we were trying to find Cliche a little bit too soon. That ball falls to Samake. A little bit, fortunately, not quite sure how that one made its way past our defender, but it's in the bottom right corner. Hopefully, he was offside, but otherwise, Yet again, we can see an equaliser not too long off the back of going in front. And indeed, that is the case. Suslov there gets in behind. No idea how that one's gone past our centre-back and Galen Fansamaki. But it did. He puts it away and makes it one all. And right off the back of that, we are now done the other end. Hopefully, to grab our lead back here as it is now one all. Bullocks on the ball plays that one back to Gal, who really... Should have dealt with that danger, albeit it probably would have just ended in an own goal anyway. But good work there again from Cliche Huxa to Krasnicki. Big chance here for Cliche, but unfortunately, good save there from Rizzo. Cliche takes it out for a goal kick for some reason, and we are still locked up at one all about halfway through the first half. And shortly off the back of that, another highlight. And now Hamburg are inside the box. The goal scorer, Samaki, plays that one back. To Ramsey, Glatzel there tries to put it top right corner, thankfully, just goes over the bar. Still one all. And right before half time, it's a late free kick here to Hamburger. have certainly been on the front foot since we did grab that early goal in this one. Free kick looking for Zabani there at the far post. It falls to Cueto. Bit slow on the ball though, Ramsey. Now Suslov with a shot looking for that top left corner. Thankfully, comes off the crossbar. It will be a goal kick, Hamburg. Well and truly the best team so far in this game, but thankfully. Locked up at one all off the back of that early goal through Coachella. But if both our wing backs here have picked up yellow cards, they'll be coming off for Bass and for Ernesto. And also our left winger not doing a great job. Osman Tilgan can come on for him. And hopefully that will help us in terms of our quality in that final third. And hopefully create a few more chances as well. Because so far we haven't done a great deal in this game. But the scoreline not too bad. When you did look at those stats, we have well and truly been second best in this game, but we'll get things back underway. Locked up at one all. And in fact, there's a highlight here. Immediately from the restart, Cueto here on the ball will find Bullock and hopefully will create an early chance off the back of giving these guys a bit of a spray at halftime, telling them to be a bit more positive and a bit more creative. Now it's Cueto on the ball yet again. A Tilgan can find Bass here in a ton of space. Encouraging signs already in this first highlight. Big chance there for Bullock, but unfortunately... Takes the deflection, it goes out for a corner, but hopefully a bit more of that in the second half, and we can hopefully at least get something out of this game, which is a bit unexpected off the back of that first result today. It is fair to say, but unfortunately, we're not doing anything off the back of that early corner, and it's still one all. And about 10 minutes through the second half, Racine Bullock is just struggling a little bit out there on a 6.4. We'll take him off nice and early once I get the substitution right. We're not taking off Tom Gale. Bullock will come off. For Leon Heinke, still locked up at one all. And very short the back of that first substitution of the second half it is a free kick here to Hamburg, who are looking to take the lead. Good tackle there from Ernesto. Have just noticed Leon Heinke actually came on at centre back. That's an annoying thing that FM does sometimes, albeit partly my fault. Good chance there though for Bass to win that one back, but unfortunately the ball just gets trapped a little bit and finds its way back into the feet of a Hamburg player. Now Suspov. Puts that one into the mixer. Glatzel with a good chance. Thankfully, he's that one just wide. And it is still locked up at one all. Just shy of the hour mark. But shortly off the back of that. Now it's a corner in their favour. But Krapikas, big and tall, is able to claim that. And hopefully, we can get down the other end. He can roll this one out to one of our wingbacks. Indeed, he does this time. Ernesto to Krasnicki. Can we get on the front foot in this highlight? And try and make it 2-1 with around about a half hour left to Tilgan doing some good work since he's come on off the bench in his first game back from injury. But unfortunately, Zabanye there, good work to rob that one. And now they have a big chance down the other end here. Samake just inside the box, just outside now. That's a foul from Heinke. I do think, though, that one was outside the box. But we are going to have to wait here for a VAR check. But I'm pretty sure he made his way just outside the box when that foul was committed. Not a bad one there from Leon Heinke off the back of this. Probably a good idea to 
to put him back in his usual defensive midfield position and Tom Gale at centre-back. I think Tom Gale was the man who was about to have that chance down the other end before Zabane did get in the way. Heinke will pick up a yellow card, but concerning there for our boring midfielder having just come off the bench, but now it's a free kick here to Hamburg, which Osmani is going to try and put, I'd imagine, towards the far post. He dinks it that one in. For Samake, Heinke is there to head that one out for another corner and still one all with 25 minutes left. And right off the back of that previous highlight, we're going to make our last substitution. Just notice there that Lucas Search is down to a Red Hearts. Lucas Lock can come on for him. We'll also put him on a ball playing defender. It is the role that he is training. Maybe having two ball playing defenders might help us get on the front foot a little bit more when playing out from the back, but still one all with 25 minutes left. And we've just made our way into the last 10 minutes of this game. We're just about to change some player roles and try and go a bit more positive. But a highlight did start in Hamburg here. Might be getting on the attack, but great work there from Coachella to get that ball back for us, albeit he gets robbed there from Waltz. A bit slow on it. And Waltz here has a tight angle. Gets a shot off Krapikas. Doesn't even bother a save, you pathetic human. And that is 2-1. What a frustrating goal to concede against top of the table Coachella. Won that ball back for us. It looked like. He could have actually recovered to get that ball before Waltz did because it was a loose tackle and Krapakas just sort of waves at the ball to his right and that makes it 2-1. Off the back of that, we will go attacking, but we're going to need a goal to try and grab something out of this one inside the last five minutes. And a late highlight in this one, Ernesto clears our lines here off the back of that most recent highlight. We did put our players onto some more positive roles as well once we did go attacking, but frustrating way there to go 2-1 down. Now, Jetta with a shot, thankfully, that one goes just over that top right corner, and we are still only 2-1 down. We might also just try and play with a higher defensive line for these last few minutes, see if that makes any difference in terms of our defense, but really frustrating way there to go 2-1 down, albeit based on stats. Hard to argue it's not deserved here from the team currently on top of the table. And yet again, they're on the attack here down this right-hand side through Travos. This time, Coachella does some good work at Tilgan. Pumps this one deep. Cueto, good chance for us here, but loose touch. Eventually finds Cliche. His shot goes over the bar. He was offside anyway, off the back of that slight interruption when that ball was trying to get played in for him. And unfortunately, two losses in today's episode, to be fair, well and truly outplayed in that game, but we're in that one for a long time off the back of that early goal through Coachella, but unfortunately, loose work there from him in the last 10 minutes, and it did lead to a goal through Vaults, also Krapakas, hardly covered himself in glory with that effort for that final goal, and now we are really starting to slip off the back of that winter break, as I said earlier, not really too sure what happened in that week off training, but something weird's gone on, obviously that loss to Schalke was expected, and to be fair, the other teams have taken on and lost are up there on the table, so it's not terrible results, but still, things have gone a bit haywire off the back of that winter break. We've now played four games in the league and lost three of them, and the gap between us and the top three is getting a bit bigger as we suffer another defeat, 2-1, away at Hamburg. So not good results in today's episode, it is fair to say the only bright spot, I suppose, is that Osman Tilgan is now back from injury, hopefully. Once he makes his way back into the team, we can start to get on that form that we did have going into that winter break, but since then, as I've said a few times, not too sure what we did in that winter break that week off, but something has gone terribly wrong here at Lokomotiv Leipzig, albeit we have been playing some good teams. Hopefully, we can get back on track before we do come back for tomorrow's episode, but that will do it for today. We've now found ourselves with a bit of a gap to make up on those teams inside the top three, and also Dynamo Dresden off the back of that 3-1 win in that first game today are also breathing right down our necks for that fourth spot as well. So it might be a five-horse race for promotion this season, but we need to start picking up some points soon. Otherwise, it will probably be another season in the two Bundesliga. If you enjoyed today's episode, two losses, then do remember to go down below, leave a thumbs up on the video, and if you haven't done so already and are enjoying the series here on the channel, also consider hitting that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on as well. We'll come back for the next episode. We now play a run of games against some teams we really should be picking up. Some decent results against Braunschweig in 17th, Glyphe Firth in 11th, 1860 Munich in 16th, Paderborn in 12th, and we'll come back and take on Darmstadt. Those guys are in 6th. We played them at home earlier this season. 
they beat us 3-0 away. Would be nice to get some revenge on those guys. And also Holstein Kiel away. They are in 8th. If our run of bad form continues in between now and then, we might though have to change our tactic, which I've been really hesitant to do because we have made all our transfers based on this 4-2-3-1 fluid counter-attacking style. But obviously our form since the winter break has not been good enough. If we continue to lose against these teams down that bottom half of the table, I think we might have to make a bit of a change, but hopefully we can stick to our current tactic, get back on track in those four games before we come back for those ones in late March. In tomorrow's episode, we also should get our youth intake during that episode as well. It might be at the end of it, but we should have a youth intake coming up in tomorrow's episode alongside those two games. So until then, thank you very much for watching. Keep on keeping on, and I'll see you then. Cheers. Thought I could do this, left through the sadness at home.